Okay, so when it comes to your quiz, a lot of us, I think, struggle with being able to summarize stuff that we understand. This has hurt a lot of you guys on your quizzes and your exams in the past, and to, yesterday it really hurt you on that last quiz. So there were four questions. There was two matching, if I remember correctly, one place in order, and then one that summarized the story of uh, Caballito de Palo. Okay? Um, so let me pull that up real quick. So um, most of us did all right on the matching. So what that tells me is you guys understand a fair amount of Spanish and English when you give the chance to think about it. That's good. Um, the second match one you guys fight on. The order one was more of a all right. Do you remember the story well enough to put it in some kind of order? That's a memory thing. It's a long term memory. So if you have memory problems, that was hard for you. If you weren't paying attention, it's really hard for you. Um, Yes, Jimmy. Oh. Were you just saying that's me? That's me? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so uh, let's focus on, based on what you recall from which of the following is the best summary. Okay, now, I love multiple choice e exams because in my mind, I can cut out usually two, sometimes three of the four choices. Okay? And so what I do is I cut out the ones that don't make sense. So, for example, the story, oh, uh, that's well, actually what's obviously really this. This story is a ridiculous use of Spanish in which my teacher attempts to make us all act like a bunch of dumb animals. It's a girl um, created something about a fucking bronco from Texas. If you pick that one, you, you, like, at no point did I use the word Texas. Never. Okay. So that would be wrong, okay? The second one here. I honestly can't remember what happened five minutes ago, let alone what happened in the last class or Friday. This is my best answer. I flipped the problem. Did anyone flip that? Yes, actually. So these right here, you can throw those out. So now we go from six responses, four. Okay? All right, we can cope with that. Now, uh, the story is about a girl who lives in a magical land and anything she imagines can become real. For example, if she imagined a stick horse, it's a real horse, and then and a tragic story where it breaks its leg and her magical grandfather helps to repair it. Okay. Wait, is this story a, a fiction story or is it like a... We did this in class. Did you watch the video? I did not. Okay. So, this right here has elements of truth in it. If you would put this on a written summary, because a lot of these are things I pulled from previous classes I've taught this to, um, since I'm letting multiple choice here. This right here, I can't put that on there. All right. She got the word grandpa, horse, imaginary. She got some of the words there. She's in that D range, that, that C minus range. But it's not the best answer. Okay. So now we've taken out this one, this one, and this one. So now we've got the three. All right. This story, uh, the story of Ellie is about how her grandfather joins her imaginary world and helps her to cure the broken horse. While the story itself has very little intrinsic value, it does have great exposure to Spanish and allowed me to act a little bit as a class. That's the one. That's the one. Which one? What? You a lot it? of you, a lot of you, listen. The story of Ellie is the exploration of a child's imagination, making a stick horse into a real horse. So far, you're good. Um, personifies the greatness of childhood, imagination, and the kindness of grandparents. How does the story? Personify the greatness of childhood imagination. Wait, it was the. This is the best one. That made no sense to me. Now, if I could find a way to make this question here give you different values, I would have done that. Okay? So, what this shows me is not how bad your Spanish is, Addison, or good. It shows me that we have a hard time taking a big picture item and summarizing it into two sentences. Most of us who are analytical thinkers struggle with multiple choices because we overthink it. A lot of you guys don't do it. I wasn't. I was work. thinking about it. You, you're on camera, dude. Just, just walk it over there. Don't be a train wreck. Don't trip over anything. Don't be extra. And it'll all be okay. So, um, so this one here, um, this one here, and this one here, I would love to have given some credit on because some of the words are there. But I haven't figured out how to make that work in school with you. That's on me. Which is why, last week, I assigned this. Some of you guys have read it and started working on it. Most of you don't even look at the board unless I'm pointing at it. 
So I'm putting that now. In Senior Wooly, you have a Billy La Bufanda sequel. Oh, this one is Billy Elos Animales. Did you do it or did you do it? Huh? It's Senior Wooly. It's Senior Wooly. So, if for example, Addison doesn't like her 76 on this exam, and she wants a better quiz grade, I'm sorry, on this quiz, on this quiz, if she wants a better quiz grade, I am offering you a free, just complete it. And here's the really cool thing. When is it officially due? The 14th. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. How many days am I required by Chesapeake Public School to give you to turn in work? Like seven. Three days. Five days. Five. Five. So, Eight. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And then I take 10%, 10%, 10%. So you have eight physical days or five days of no penalty. So here's the really cool thing. Do it. I'll put the assignment in there. If you post a screenshot in while you guys are at lunch today, get it done whenever you can over the weekend. And you'll take your 76, add it to 100. What's 176 added together? 85. Average becomes 85. Plus. And here's the thing. You get two quizzes in my class. You have another quiz tomorrow so you can fix your grade. Okay. Multiple chances to fail and recover and succeed. Pregunta? Estirando? Okay. Dígame. If you don't do it, what do you get? Zero. Oh, okay, so I didn't do that. So much required? But it's the easiest to find. What about doing? All right. Here's the thing. It's, it's five, 45 minutes. 40 minutes of your time. To watch a silly little video about animals and Billy Love Yeah, but yes, that can be put in for need, in need for speed. That can be four races in need for speed, and that can be a hundred thousand dollars. He's talking about a video game. It's a car video game. Yeah. Times in that. Oh, I'm sorry. You must have confused me for somebody who cared about video games. Let's move back on this. Page. <laughs> And I don't think the video games are PG. Yeah, Haley. Um, racing one is just cars. Uh, you can't get it. I have to talk about it. Very PG. How do I do that when you guys have class? Next question. The first one. I didn't know how to submit it. Submit it, email it to me, and it should show the date when you had it completed. If the date is good, you're good. I submitted it like a couple, like two weeks ago. Two weeks. Make sure that I fix your grade, if not email me. Okay. Yeah. ¿Qué pasa en español? Yeah. ¿Por qué no estuviste? aquí? I told you I was sick. Okay. Empezamos. Okay, at this time, everybody except Layla, turn your Chromebooks around for me. You can show me your screen, that way if you're like playing GTA, whatever. Oh, whoops. Yes, ma'am. I have an extra number. Cool Wi-Fi is blocking me. Fill it out, sorry. Okay. Okay, I thought this was a hundred. Oh, okay. I'll tell my name. Ramaya. Okay, she's... Gracias. Okay. La cumbia se produce con instrumentos indígenas y africanos. ¿Qué significa africanos, Jane? Indígenas. Indígenas? Oh. Indígenas? Peyton? Indigenous. Indígenas? Uh, Devin? Indígenas? Hannah? Indígenas? Mackenzie? Indigenous, sí. La cumbia se produce. ¿Qué se va se produce? Hunter. Se produce. Cross. Produce? Uh-huh. Se produce con. Con, Addison, con. Con. Um, Haley, con. Ahí está, con. Addison, con. Con. Okay, todo. La cumbia se produce. 
con instrumentos indígenas y africanos. Shen. Ok, ayúdale, Cameron. It's a proper name, so. Kumia. Okay. 
La cumbia es una fusión de tres culturas. ¿Cuáles son la cultura y la cultura y la cultura? Escriben, tómense. No. Es uno, he sido dos más. Jaden? 
También. También Dana. También Lamaya. También Dylan. También Mackenzie. También Addison. También Devin. También Alex. Oh, it's Tom and Jimmy. As well. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's extra another. Ejido es acordenero. Acordenero. El toca el acordeón. Okay. El toca el acordeón. Peyton. Can you play the accordion? Ok, entonces, hijido es un acordenero. Hayley. ¿Y plays the accordion? Uh huh. And that's Chance, he's an accordioner. I thought it was an accordion. So, this is the word for accordion, and the guy who plays it is the accordioner. I, I said that as a word. Not in English, but in Spanish, basically you're saying, like, there's the run, and there's the run, or uh, river for, uh, corredores. In 1997, Carlos Vives publicó un canción. Guinevere. In 1997, Guinevere, Carlos Vives publicó un canción. In 1997, Carlos Vives published a song. Excellent. La canción se llama Caballito Tomaya. La canción se llama Caballito. Caballito. Caballito es un cumbia. Es un canción fantástica. Cameron. Es un cumbia, it's a it's type of style. Cumbia is a song. The song is fantastic. Yeah, the canción is fantastico. Caballito! La canción es la inspiración del cuento, Mackenzie. Caballito es la inspiración del cuento. El es un caballito de palo. Is that a lie? <laughs> oh. Mackenzie, Caballito es la inspiración. Uh. Inspiración, Mackenzie. Caballito is the name of the song. Okay. So you say Caballito es la inspiración in English. Go. Del cuento. Uh, Ellie y su caballito de palo. Ayúdale, Leila. is the inspiration for the story of Ellie and her uh, stickers. Perfect. Oh. Mackenzie, Caballito is the inspiration of the story of Ellie and her Caballito de Palo. Go. Uh, Caballito is the inspiration for the story of Ellie and her stickers. Excellent. El Caballito, en Caballito, Carlos imita, Addison, en Caballito, Carlos imita, Los movimientos de un caballo. La Maya. Un caballito Carlos imita los movimientos de un caballo. Sí. Para curar su caballito de palo. Buen idea. Yeah. It is Guinevere, right? Yeah. 
Of it because you guys love Latino music so much. 